The idea of this channel is to follow the same method I've been using for years with my students and with which I have been able to see firsthand its effectiveness. Hello everyone and welcome back to Fluency Rocks. I'm making this video in response to the feedback I've received about my explanations of the Spanish language in English. Several people have asked me why I do it, and well, there are actually several reasons. From the first moment I had the idea of creating this channel, it was clear to me that it's impossible to please everyone. I know there will always be people who learn in different ways and prefer other teaching methods, and there is nothing wrong with that. I think the mistake is to try to cover too much and not helping enough, so at the beginning my main goal was to decide who I want to help the most by choosing my target audience. So I decided to focus mostly on beginner and intermediate students of Spanish, especially those who are native or fluent English speakers. That being said, my videos are basically aimed at those students who need and prefer explanations in English because I always try to put myself in the learner's shoes and understand how they might be processing information from their English-speaking perspective. Currently, there are many teaching methods that work very well, and here on YouTube we can find many teachers who offer their explanations 100% in Spanish. So, if you are at an advanced level or if you prefer explanations completely in Spanish, I consider that my channel and my videos are not the best fit for you. My methodology is different and my explanations are aimed at those who don't want to miss any details and want to fully understand what they are learning. On the other hand, English and Spanish have many things in common and many differences as well. And I believe we should take advantage of this to make associations between both languages, which facilitates the learning process and makes it more efficient. This way we make better use of the students' energy and time. When there are similar structures and expressions, I can show my students the similarity those expressions have with English. And when the structures are different, I always try to provide an equivalent phrase or expression to convey the same idea so the person can have a better understanding of how the Spanish language works. For example, in Spanish we say tengo 26 años and in English we say I'm 26 years old. Both phrases express age, but the literal translation of the Spanish sentence into English is I have 26 years, which of course is not correct in English. So in my experience teaching Spanish since 2018, and with over 4,000 private lessons talked, I've seen that it's much more effective for students to understand our logic and how we actually say things as native speakers. Furthermore, I've noticed time and time again that when a student doesn't understand Spanish well enough, it doesn't make sense to offer explanations in Spanish because they won't get everything and this might lead to confusions, which is counterproductive. What I do with my private students is that when they have reached a certain level, I usually start giving them explanations 100% in Spanish, but this is a process that takes time and does not happen overnight. The idea of this channel is to follow the same method I've been using for years with my students, and with which I have been able to see firsthand its effectiveness. With this channel, what I want is to accompany you in this process to the point where you can understand the language better and no longer need explanations entirely in English. At that point, you will no longer need the type of videos I'm currently making and you will be ready to take the next step in your learning journey. Last but not least, another very important thing to consider is the stories I include in each video. 
These studies are 100% in Spanish and serve as the practical component of the topic explained in the first segment of the video. This way, the students can see all the grammatical constructions, vocabulary and expressions in action, the way Spanish native speakers use them. So, with all that being said, for now, I hope you all can understand my reasons to continue offering my explanations in English. Basically, the most important thing is that people thoroughly understand the topics. This way you cannot only appreciate the value of the grammar explanations in English, but also apply what you learn in real life situations with the aid of the stories in my videos that I create just for you. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Remember, the more you practice, the more you'll improve. And don't forget to keep rocking your language learning goals.